Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove spyware, adware, potentially unwanted programs, and all those kind of nasty things, and also some of your unneeded OEM software. Keep watching to find out more. Okay, so on today's video, we're going to be showing you how to remove unwanted programs from your PC. So whether that's pre-installed OEM software from the likes of Acer, HP, Dell, etc., or whether it's nasty things which you've picked up from the internet, such as spyware, adware, extra toolbars that you don't necessarily need, they're pretty easy to get rid of and it isn't going to cost you a penny. So let's go to the computer and I'll show you what you need to download and how to run it. Okay, so on the computer, open up your internet browser of choice. I'm going to be using Chrome, but you can use any browser you want. And all you need to do in the search bar, type in ADW Cleaner, or Adware Cleaner, and hit enter. And the link you want is the one that says malwarebytes.com forward slash adware cleaner. I will be putting links to this in the description below so you can directly click on it from there if you wanted to, um, or you can do it yourself, entirely up to you. So this is a, a basic introduction to what Malware Bytes Adware Cleaner actually does. So as it says in big letters, it destroys adware and restores performance. Now, a lot of people have used this previously, but they've got a new trick up their sleeve, whereas now it will actually remove other things, such as the OEM pre-installed software, which can be bloating your system, especially things like the Acer power management and all those kinds of things, which really are unnecessary on modern hardware. So to, in order to download the software, don't click on the free download there, and don't click on the free download over here. You wanna scroll all the way to the bottom of the page until you get to the bit where it says free download. So click on that and it will start downloading. Don't click on the free download over here. Just wait until the pop-up comes up and the file you want is adwcleaner underscore 7.4.exe. Now you can save it to wherever you want. I'm gonna save it to a desktop. Of course, if you want to, you can save it to a USB stick and keep it handy. So if you're maybe a mobile technician or you're going around fixing your family's PCs, you can just keep it on a handy USB drive to run. It doesn't need any installation at all. It runs purely as an executable file so you don't have to worry about Adware Cleaner actually leaving any remnants on your system either. And it's a very small download, it's only about eight megabytes in size, so it shouldn't take very long at all. And then what we can do is run the file. Now I would suggest if you right click on it and run as administrator, you'll probably get the pop-up notification anyway to say that this program wants to run, but if you run as administrator, it's possibly the best way forward. So you'll get the user account control section come up, so just hit yes. And then close all these windows that we don't need. So this is the introduction. So Malware Adware Cleaner has now new look and even stronger adware fighting technology, and you're only seconds away from a cleaner PC. Well, it doesn't say PC, but you get the idea. So just agree to the terms. And this is the interface, so it's really straightforward, really simple. You've got your dashboard, you've got your quarantined items, which is something we'll get onto in a little bit later. You can access previous log files if uh, you're leaving the executable on your system. And you've got the settings, which you can go into some great detail with. So if you've got other repair options you want to do, like your firewalls playing up, you can choose to reset your firewall, all kinds of things. Um, reset your bits for the internet all things like that. WinSock is quite a handy one to do, and also resetting of the host file is actually quite a useful thing to do if you've got some kind of browser redirection. But anyway, those are uh, a little bit more on the technical side, and essentially, this program shouldn't really need it as long as you run it. So we'll click on Scan Now, and let's see what we find. Now, as you can see there, it downloaded the new, new database, so it will need an internet connection if possible, but it will run as a standalone. If not, it will just use its own built-in database. And there we go, that was pretty quick. So at the moment we found two things. So we've got Adware Spigot, so there's a registry key there. And also we've got the uh, potentially unwanted program, which is the Banggood uh, add-in for Chrome. As you see, Chrome Search Provider. So what we'll do is we'll get quarantine both of those. And it says here, all processes will be closed before quarantine the selected items. Please save your current work before continuing. So we've got nothing else running, so we're all good. So we can click on continue. And now it's saying that you need to restart your computer to fully clean it. So we'll hit restart now. 
So that's the PC restarted, and now we just have to wait for all the Windows processes to kick back in. But you can see, Adware Cleaner comes up straight away, your cleanup is complete. So it tells you the scan time, how many objects it scanned, how many it detected, and how many items have been fixed. Now, if for some reason you've gone into items detected and it says, like for instance here, four, and it says that only two have been uh, sorted out, then you do need to reset your PC. That is really important for it to actually remove the registry entries and any file entries or remove anything from your browser. Uh, we'll just close down Discord. So there we go. So we can look in now in our quarantine file and we can see here we've got Adware or Spigot, which I actually am not too sure what that is. So I'm gonna have a, a look at that in a little bit. Now, if you were running this on a, like I said before, an Acer or an HP machine, then you may have here pre-installed software and there'll be a list of pre-installed items of software, which you can either choose to uh, remove or you can choose to restore. So delete or restore is the options there. So all you do is put a tick box in the program that you want to get rid of. And you can quite happily leave it in the quarantine for a little while and see if it has any negative effect on your system. It's unlikely it will do, but again, the choice is there if you want to. So it's not a drastic action. It's not gonna remove the software straight away without any kind of uh, interim measures. So you can quarantine the software, see if your system's still stable, see if everything still works. And if everything still works, then you can quite happily delete it after. And again, you can go into your log files and see what has happened. So all in all, pretty good. It's done a good job of cleaning up the system, which I actually thought was uh, pretty clean, but still managed to find a few bits and pieces. I would probably recommend uh, keeping the adware cleaner on your system and doing periodic scans, maybe every week or something like that, or maybe even add a schedule into your Windows schedule to do it on a regular basis. But anyway, there you go. Nice and cheap, free and simple, couldn't be better. So there you go, there is a cheap and easy way of scanning your system for potentially unwanted programs, OEM bloatware, and also um, viruses, spyware, all that kind of stuff. So if you found this video useful, give the video a thumbs up. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to stick them in the section below. But in the meantime, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.